Hey Scorpio, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your spirit animal guidance. So we're gonna get started with the wild unknown animal spirit. So I do want to clarify that um, I'm speaking of spirit animals as, you know, spirit guides who appear when we need love, strength, support, inspiration, and guidance. So not to be confused with totem animal, which is who you really are inside and not to be confused with the power animal who you can invoke in when you need assistance, right? So those are just how I believe and it works well for general reading because we want to know the energy that's coming in to assist you right now. All right, so Holy Spirit, who do we have for Scorpio? What animal do we have for Scorpio? And we have the snake. All right. Let's look that one up. There we go. Guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that Shakti, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. What would life look like if you woke it up? How can you stir it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. Make haste. The snake card appears when there is no more time to waste. So when in balance, it's prosperous, creative, and charismatic. And when it's out of balance, starts and stops many things. To bring into balance, kundalini yoga and meditation. So I feel like there is an awakening that is happening for you. And it just may need some coaxing to fully um, activate. So let's go ahead and get... Um, a spirit animal, spirit of the animal oracle to get some further guidance here. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, and we have the bison, abundance. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storm storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. So I feel like prayer and meditation is highly beneficial to you right now. And I feel like that's the main uh, message that's coming through for you from these spirit guides. Um, let's get a Whispers of the Ocean card. More insight for Scorpio. Okay. And we have the number two card, Diving to New Depths. There is a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you're feeling about your current situation. So I feel like, you know, prayers, meditation, and doing that internal deep dive, right? That's so those are all can be um, one action or they can all be separate things that you do depending on what your, you know, rituals or your um, connection with spirit is, how you, how you connect. All right, so let's go ahead and get some tarot to see how this is playing out for you. What is the recent past energy for Scorpio? And we have the Son of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever the situation is, it's been a long time coming. And I do see that as Taurus energy. What is the current energy? We have the Hermit. There's that internal dive. And this has come out for every sign, no matter how much I shuffle. So I feel, feel like there is like a, a general call of meditation, of doing that internal work, that internal journey to really find the light within. See how this light is there? I feel like they're, they're speaking to you. The guidance is coming through your intuition, your internal knowledge. 
everything is within you. The challenge is the mother of wands. So you have that snake appearing again. So I feel like this is confidence. This is very protective. If you see, she's protecting her eggs and she has that wand there. This is knowing exactly um, what she needs to thrive and, and draws that to her. All right, what is the advice from Spirit? And we have the Mother of Cups. So this is about being more in tune with your intuition. And I feel like once you do this internal dive, diving deep, you're going to be more connected to your intuition, understanding how much you need to trust your intuition. And I feel like that is your like final key, if you will, to this abundance or goal that you're trying to reach. All right, what is the outcome here? And we have the Nine of Swords. So we're also seeing some definite um, negative thoughts and trying to control situations that are out of your control. The bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. So this could be anything. I mean, this could be really... Um, th there's two queens here. So I could say that there's one too many. Um, depending on what your personal situation is, there's an extra energy here is what I'm getting. Okay. So I feel like this is what you are manifesting because you, you feel like um, you feel something in your intuition here. That's what I'm getting. But let's clarify. Why is the Son of Pentacles here? And we have the Son of Pentacles, Spirit of Pentacles. No, this is the King of Pentacles, I'm sorry. So you could be dealing with a King of Pentacles here, um, not any earth sign. It doesn't have to be, this could be you. What is this Hermit? Could be a Virgo, because we have this Hermit energy here. And then we have the Innocence of Sword, Page of Sword. So I feel like there is a message that's within you that something's trying to tell you that things are not right in this situation. Now, obviously, this is not everyone's reading, but there is definitely an intrusive energy here, something that's causing interference. And I'm getting that because it comes out right next to this Nine of Swords. Why is this Mother of Wands here? And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like this is definitely, um, it's something that's going to affect your family. I'm getting this as a family tree instead of just a tree. This is a family tree. And so I feel like this is something, the challenge is that it's affecting your entire family. What is this Queen of Cups about? And we have the Eight of Cups. So I feel like this is Mama Bear here, and I feel like this is you, and your challenge is this Queen of Wands, whoever this is, okay? I feel like there is investments, could be even money going to another woman in your life here. There's too many queens here. That's what I'm getting. Obviously, like I said, this is not everyone's reading. I don't normally pick up on energies like this because the reading is about you, but this is such a strong... Uh, message that's coming through and we have the page of Pentacles here so even the worst case scenario that you're imagining is that this other woman is going to end up pregnant that's what I'm getting here and I feel like that is a strong possibility here at the bottom of the deck we have the four of wands and there's that those sunflowers representing that queen of wands so I feel like, you know, it's almost like saying if you're married, um, let's see if you make it to your next anniversary. I know this is a horrible, horrible scenario, and obviously it's not for everybody, but um, so please do not make it fit to your situation. Um, but it's definitely a story that I'm seeing here and that I'm feeling. So um, let's get some Animal Spirits Knowledge card. To close this out, 
I don't feel comfortable with these type of readings because I don't want anyone to force it to fit their scenario. Um, if it's not your story, it's not your story. If you don't have, if you haven't had any inklings of this, then it's not your story. This is something that you have been in denial about and you just need to, um, yeah. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Okay, so this is the card. And we have the peacock. So it's vision, wisdom, beauty, and guardianship. The many eyes and the peacock's tail feathers are associated with vision and wisdom. In Greek mythology, the bird was a symbol of the goddess Hera who kept it in her temple as a many-eyed guard. Muslims of Java believe the peacock guards the gate to paradise. In Europe, peacock mythology has varied and depending on the culture may represent a bad omen or symbolize the soul. And there you go. All right, those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.